Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and one of my favorite parts of the channel is listening to the audience and hearing what uh, what you want to ask. And again, there's no question that's too simplistic or a question that's too complex. And the question was, and I've got this from several viewers, is how do you attach, one person asked, how do you attach the iPod Touch? Another person asked, how do you attach iPhone 6 Plus, which is the big iPhone, or how do you attach an Android device to the controller? And that's actually a very legit question because when you look at this, it's kind of confusing. So what you got to do, you got to pop this up, and when you get it out of the box, these tabs here are probably going to be down. And they're probably going to be pushed down in a way to where it would seem that they may not need to come up it's kind of tight you put your fingernail in there and it's kind of but they do come up so what you do you fold those up and then based upon the size of your device and I'm putting them upside down in case I have phone calls coming in so you just push this and this will expand and then you can push that down to to fit the device in that case that's iPod touch check the link within this video's description and you can find the version of iPod Touch that I use. It's uh, not, not all the iPod Touches will work. And then if you're using iPhone 6 Plus, and I do have it in um, aftermarket case, but you can see this will shoot on up, and there's plenty of room left over as well. So I just push it down enough to where it fits. Obviously, you want to make sure that when you do this, that your buttons on your device are not being pressed by that. And then a final step, is to get your, uh, and since these are iOS devices, I use the, uh, obviously I use an iOS cable. But the one that comes with your, with your iPhone 6 or your, well, iPhone 6 Plus or iPhone 6 or iPod Touch, it's going to be a very long cable. And if you want this to look really neat, I would recommend getting one of these, and you can find it within this video's description. Very short, very, uh, very clean, and you don't have uh, you don't have all that extra cable dangling around or having to wrap it around your controller when you're flying to look neat. And then you just put your antennas up. Antennas, there's been there's been mixed opinions about how to do it. And typically, what I do, I'll I'll fold them all the way up and I'll try to put them up. But obviously, when I'm using a larger device, I can't put them straight up. So usually, I push them all the way back and then kind of put them out just a little bit. So that's how I do it. I mean, you know, you may have your own, uh, you may have your own procedure, but that's how I do mine. And typically, I like to fly with the iPod Touch, and the reason being is that number one, I don't have to. Uh, consume the battery life of my iPhone 6 Plus. And number two, the uh, the battery, or the, the temperature of this rather, it it is never overheated for me. The iPhone 6 Plus has. So for that reason, I prefer to fly with the, uh, with the iPod Touch. Now keep in mind, if you do fly with the iPod Touch, if you want to use the intelligent flight modes, the follow me will not work unless you have a smartphone in your pocket and uh, and it's got internet connectivity and then you do a Bluetooth pairing. That's a workaround that my fans have found for doing that. But, you know, just for typical flying to go out and, uh, you know, film videos and or photos, I love the iPod Touch because the size of it, it's uh, it's bigger than the viewfinder on my camcorder. And obviously, I fly line of sight to be safe. So, you know, it does everything I need it to and more. So check the link within this video's description. You can find everything. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGUY. And enjoy all my other Phantom 3 videos too. Y'all have a good day.